We continue now at the top of Daf Nun Hamud Beis and Maseches Yevamos. This is Yevamos Daf Fifty Five B. And the previous summit, the Gemara had asked, "How do we know that by Chayve Ase, so even Hera, even the beginning of the act of intercourse, is going to be a problem?" And to that, the Gemara answers, "Asya Bia Bia." That's learned out of Gzeira Shava from the word Bia. Rashi over here says, "Bia Bia Me Chayve Lavin." It says by Chayve Lavin. It also says by the Chayve Ase. It uses the word Bia. Tchsib Bahu Lo Yavo Mamzer. It says a, a Mamzer shouldn't Yavo using the word Bia. And therefore, again, just like over there, Hera is a violation, so to over here, Hera is going to be a violation. And the Gemara continues, Yavama l'shuk menol. And how do we know, let's say a Yavama marries, instead of marrying the brother and doing Yivam, she marries someone else. How do I know that Hera is considered like Gemar Bia? And the Gemara says, Ilaman to Amar Lav Lav. What do you mean? If the according to the one who says that Yavama l'shuk is a violation of a Lav, so it's the same as a Lav, where Hera is a problem. And Ilaman to Amar Asay Asay. And if it's according to the man to who says that's a violation of an Asay, so then again, it's just, it's a, the same as an Asay. Hera is a problem. As Rashi over here says, Ilaman to Amar Lav, it says that the Ashes Hames should not, again, she shouldn't marry Lashuk. So Yalfin and Hera, Lechayve Lavin. We've already learned out Hera for Chayve Lavin. And Ila Manda Amar Asay, there's another Manda Amar that says it's a violation of an Asay. The Yavama should have relations with her and nobody else. That's a negative commandment implied from a positive, and that's considered a positive commandment. And so again, either way, we really have a source. And Rashi just continues and says, according to the one who says it's an assay, what do they do with the Pasuk of Losia? Mapik Lola Ain Kidushin Tovsin, but that's to teach you that the Kidushin are not effective when she tries to marry someone else. Vahi Kamar Lo Yeheba Havoya Lazar. It means again the Kidushin won't be effective to somebody uh, from the Shuk, to somebody who's not the brother. Upluksa the Rabu Shmuel Hibo Isha Kama. This whole Machlokas over here, whether it's a Lav or an assay, it's a Machlokas later on between Rav and Shmuel. And so the Gemara continues, Ella, rather, what our question really was as follows Yavamal Yavam and all. And how do we know that the Yavam acquires the Yavama with just Hara, with just the beginning of the act of intercourse? And to that, the Gemara says, Asya Bia Bia. Again, you can learn it out. Bia Bia uses the word Bia by the case of the Yavam taking the Yavama. And again, like we said before, it uses the word Bia when it comes to the case of Mamzer. And so, therefore, again, you learn out Hara is enough. The Gemara says, Isha Labala Menol. And how do you know that when a woman, when a man and woman get married, how do we know that Hera is enough to affect a Kiddushin? As Rashi says, L'inyan Mekadesh Bebiya. If someone is going to be Mekadesh Bebiya, Menolan Deve Hera Mekadsha, how do we know the Kiddushin is effective with just Hera? And to that, the Gemara says, Asya Kicha Kicha, that's Xer Shava, the word Kicha. Rashi says, it says, Kiyikach Ish Isha Uvala. It says the word Kiyikach over there. Umehachi Alfin and Kiddushe Bia. That's where we learn Kiddushe Bia. Ksivhacha Kicha, Ksivhasim, Bechayve. And it also says by Chayve Krisus, it says the word Kicha. So again, that's how you see that Hera is enough. And the Gemara continues, Amar Rava Rava says, Lamali the cause of Rachmana, why does the Pasuk need to write Shikh Vazera? It uses the word Shikh Vazera, Beshivcha Harufa, by the case of Shivcha Harufa. Now that we already mentioned before, it's to tell you that the violation by Shivcha Harufa is only when it's a Gemar Bia, a full act of Bia. The Gemara is going to say that. And Rava continues his question, Shikh Vazera Beishazish. Why does it have to say Shikh Vazera by Eishazish? A person is with the wife of another man. So again, he uses that word Shikh Vazera. And Shikh Vazera why does it have to use the phrase Sheikh Vazera by a Sota? It's talking about a situation where a Sota was warned not to be with another man and then she goes into seclusion. It says, Veshachav Ishosa Sheikh Vazera. So why does it have to use these phrases by these cases? And the Gemara says, The Shivcha Harufa Kida Amoran. Shivcha Harufa already, we already said, as Rashi over here says, to Boinon Gemar Bia. By Shivcha Harufa, you actually do require a Gemar Bia. You're not Chaya by Hera. And that's why by Shivcha Harufa, it uses the phrase Sheikh Vazera. The Eishas Ish, now the Gemara says, what about by Eishas Ish? Why does it use the phrase Shech Vazera? So, Prad Lemeshamesh Meis. So, that comes to exclude a case. Let's say a person is with uh, the wife of another man, meaning he commits adultery with a woman, and he is Mace. Now, what does it mean he is Mace? Rashi says it means Be'aver Mace. It, mean, it means his organ is Mace. It's dead. Below Kishoy, meaning it's not erect. De'ain Roy Lahazria, meaning it's not able to give seed. It's not able to have a child. So, in that case you're actually not going to be chayev for the Isra of Eishas Ish. That's what the Pasuk of Shekhva Zerah is teaching us. 
And so the Gemara says, well, Hanicho Laman Domer Mishamish Meis by Arayos Potter. That works according to the one who says that if a person is Mishamish Meis by Arayos Potter, that's what we're saying over here, is that you're Potter. El Laman Domer Chayev, but according to the one who says you're Chayev, Ma'ikol Amemar. So again, what are we going to do with this Pasuk over here, Shech Vazera? And the Gemara says, El Rather Prat Lamishamish Meisa. It comes to exclude, let's say he commits adultery with her, but she's already dead. She's already not alive anymore. She's an Eishas Ish, but she's already died. So it comes to say, that's not a violation of Eishas Ish. Why would we think it is a violation of Eishas Ish? Because I might have thought, Since after she dies, the Pasuk still refers to him as She'ero, as the person's wife. So since she's still referred to the husband as the husband, since she's still referred to as the husband's wife, She'ero, so I might think that you're even Chayev if he has relations with her for the violation of Eishas Ish, even though, even though she's already dead. Kamash Malan, that's what the Pasuk is teaching us over here, there's no violation of Eishas Ish if the woman is dead. And the Sota Lamali, the Gemara says, okay, why does it say Sheikh Vazera by Sota? L'chiretani, and the Gemara says, that's for what it's taught in the following Braisa. It says Sheikh Vazera, what does it mean Sheikh Vazera? Prat Ledover Acher. It comes to ex- exclude some other kind of situation that he warned her about. My Dover Acher. What does it mean some other situation? What is he warning her about? Um, Rav Sheish says, Prat Lashikine La Shaloke Darka. Rav Sheish has said, it's coming to exclude, let's say he warns her not to go into seclusion with another man and have relations in the app normal fashion, referring here to having sexual intercourse in uh, in an anal fashion. So in that situation, that's excluded. That's not considered the case of Sota. But the Gemara says that's not true. Amar le Rava. Rava said back to him, Mishkevei Isha Ksiv. The Pasuk says Mishkevei Isha, which means the different kinds of lying with a woman. And that would actually mean it doesn't matter if it's Kedarka or Shalo Kedarka. So that's not true. So El Amar Rava. So the Gemara says, rather Rava says as follows, Prat le Shekinei lo Derech Eivarim. It comes to exclude, let's say he warns her not to be with this man, and not he's not even warning her not to have sexual intercourse. He's warning her not to just touch her Derech Eivarim, like Rashi says over here, by the limbs, miyuch dodim, he's touching her breasts, bedosh mi bachutz b'sharei varim, or again, he's pleasuring himself with other limbs, so that's what it's coming to exclude, that would not be considered a situation of sota. So Amar le Abaya, Abaya says, Pritsusa Asar Achmana, do you think that we're going to Asar a case where it's just Pritsus? That's not going to make her Asar. Rashi says, Pritsusa Asar Achmana Bitmiya, you, is there even a Havamina that that would be a case of Sota? Kolom Rapshita Delav Kinoyu, what he's asking is, it's obvious that's not a real warning. Demishum Pritsusa Lo Mitzra Allah, just because, she, just because of Pritsus, that's not a reason that a woman becomes Asar to her husband. So that can, that's obvious, you wouldn't need a Pasuk to exclude Kinei Lo Derechei Varim. So El Amar Abayah, so the Gemara says, rather Abayah says, Prat Shekine lo b'neshika. The case over here is he warns her not to do neshika. Neshika over here, kissing means, b'neshika aver no shek b'makam tashmish. It means that his aver is kissing the area of tashmish. In other words, he's not inserting his aver in any way, but uh, he's warning his wife, even neshika, even if it's just touching the avarim, that's going to be a warning, and it comes to exclude that. That's not considered a proper warning in terms of sota. So the Gemara says, Now that would be a good explanation. According to the one who says that Ha'ara, meaning the beginning of the act of intercourse, is when you actually enter the top of the Aver, actually penetrates. But according to the one who says that even Neshika is considered Ha'ara, even when they just touch, it's considered Ha'ara, and that's considered the beginning of the act of intercourse. So on the contrary, that would not be excluded in the case of Sota. So so then what are you going to say? Again, what is the Pasuk excluding? And so the Gemara goes back to the answer it suggested before. Ella rather liolam l'shekinei la derech evarim. Really, the case is he warned her of a situation of touching in ways that is not touching the actual uh, the actual evarim through which a person creates a baby. But rather, again, just derech evarim is the warning. And so the question was, well, of course, derech evarim is not going to be an issue in terms of sota. And the Gemara says, no, it's not. Of course, ve'itzrich, you do need uh, you do need the pasuk to tell us that this would not be a proper kinoi in terms of sota. Why would you think it would be? Because I might have thought, it depends on what the Baal is makbid about. Here he's strict. He doesn't want her to be together with this man, even Derech Eivarim. But here the husband is strict. Maybe it is a case of Sota. So Kamash Malan, so the Pasuk is telling us that it is not a situation of Sota in such a case. And the Gemara continues, and now the Gemara gets into defining exactly what is considered the beginning of the act of Bia and what is considered, what is considered Gemar Bia. Amar Shmuel, Shmuel, says, when we say something
something is the beginning of the act of bia that is just nashika that is just when the avarim when the when the avarim touch one another when they kiss one another so to speak there does not need to be any penetration piv if you want to give a mashal it's like a person who puts his finger on his mouth it's impossible that it's not going to press inside a little even when you have a situation of nashika of the avarim there's going to be some entry over there and therefore that's what's considered hera according to Shmuel. So Shmuel is strict in saying that that's considered hera, for example, by situations of Arias, where, where where hera is a violation, even Nishika will be a violation according to Shmuel. So the Gemara continues, Kiyasa Rabba Bar Barchana Amr Yochanan. So when Rabba Bar Barchana came, he said in the name of Rav Yochanan, Gemar Bia, when we say it has to be a full Bia, Beshifcha Charufa, by the case of Shifcha Charufa, which is what we said before, Zu Hachnasas HaTorah. Gemar Bia means just the entry of the top of the Aver. Even that alone is considered Gemar Bia. So the Gemara continues, Mace of Rav Sheshis. Rav Sheshis asks, Shech Vazera, Eino Chayev, Ela Al Bias Hameruk. So when we say Shech Vazera, that means you're only Chayev if it's Bia Hameruk. And as Rashi over here says, Meruk Shemazria, that means to say that it produces seed. So the Gemara says, My love, Meruk Gid. Doesn't Meruk mean that there's an entry of the entire Aver? And so it's not going to be good enough, Hachnosa Satora by Shivcha Charufa. And the Gemara says, Not necessarily. Lo, no, Meruk Atora. It could just be the seed is given even when just the top of the aver enters and penetrates, that could be enough, and that would be a defense again of this position of Rava Bar Barchan in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, that even Hachnos Asatara is considered Gemar Bia by Shifcha Charufa. And the Gemara continues in contrast, Ki Yosser Rav Dimi Yom Rabbi Yochanan, when Rav Dimi came, he said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan the exact opposite, Hera Zu Hachnos Asatara, that Hera, the beginning of the act of intercourse, that's when just the top of the aver enters. And again, before Rava Bar Barchan said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, that full Gemar Bia is Hachnas HaSatara. So Amrulay, so they said to him, V'harava Bar Barchana, lo Amr Hachi, but Rabba Bar Barchana said the exact opposite. He said that Hachnas HaSatara is considered Gemar Bia. You're saying that Hachnas HaSatara is considered Ha'era. So Amr Luhu, so he said to them, to them, O Iyu Shakroi, O Ano Shakroi, either he's lying or I am lying. One of us is reporting incorrectly in the name of Rabbi Yochanan. And the Gemara continues, Ki also Ravin Amr Rabbi Yochanan, when Ravin came, he said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Ha'ero Azu Hachnasas HaTorah, the beginning of the act of intercourse, that is considered Hachnasas HaTorah, that is the same as Rav Dimi reported in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, and that is in contrast again to what Rav Bar Barchana said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan. And so the Gemara says, Ad Rav Bar Barchana Vadai Polig, certainly Ravin is arguing on Rav Bar Barchana, that is obvious. But Ad Shmuel Milema Polig, but is he arguing on Shmuel? Rashi over here says, Ad Shmuel Damar Nishika Hava Hara. Shmuel again said that even Nishika is considered Hara, and he's saying that Hara is Achnas Satara. Certainly seems like they're arguing. Is there any way to say that they are not? And the Gemara says, Lo, no, it's not necessarily that they are arguing. What it could mean is as follows Mi Nishika Vi'ad Achnas Satara. From Nishika until Achnas Satara, anything like that in that range, Hara Karila. That's called Hara. And the Gemara continues, Ki Yasser of Shmuel Bar Yehuda, Amr Rabbi Yochanan, when Rav Shmuel Bar Yehuda came, he said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Ha'ero zu hachnas asatara, that Ha'ero, the beginning of the act of Bia, that's hachnas asatara, when the top of the Aver penetrates, and Gemar Bia, Gemar Bia Mamish. And Gemar Bia means you actually do a full Bia, and we'll continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Nun Vav Amud Aleph.